Well, welcome to the White Mountains here in northern New Hampshire, where we're at Lost River Gorge. Now, as you can see, there's a boardwalk here. The entire experience is kind of protected, and what I mean by that is you're not off trail. Everything is on trail, just like you see here. There's an exact one-mile loop trip that starts at the Visitor Center gift store, goes all the way through the canyon, and then ends up right at the same place you started. Uh, originally, when I got here, I was kind of... Didn't know if I loved it or not. Reason being, it's very touristy. It can get very crowded. We were here on a day that it wasn't so bad. Uh, but what I also learned is if you have a family, there could be no better place than here in the White Mountains. Reason being, everything is made so you and your family can enjoy walking through this gorge on your own, right up and down and at your own speed. And it's very well maintained, very well kept up. Obviously, this is private property. It does cost you to come here, but... Take a look and you'll see what they've done to make life easier on you through this little canyon. Now there are waterfalls here. There are actually a few decent ones. This is the largest one you're going to see, but you're here for more than just waterfalls. There's plenty of adventure to be found as you're about to see. Well, the waterfalls are not too crazy impressive here on this area but uh, guess what there are some pretty cool caves real small caves that they got lit up you can go in there take your kids do whatever and let me tell you something get here on off busy hours because there are people everywhere and it kind of makes it tough to enjoy when there's that many people hiking through here and watch your head because you could lose it down here But it just shows you there's some exploring to be done. Right through here. And there's the bridge and there's that nice waterfall you just saw. So if you came here just looking for big waterfalls, you, you came to the wrong place. Uh, this is a small little river that cuts its way through this canyon. Got some great geological features, but not a waterfall park. I can tell you is if you're coming here looking for adventure you are going to find it there are caves all over the place there's about a section that feels like it's about 50 to 100 yards long and every one of that area is just like this now they do rent flashlights and headlamps and stuff like that we just didn't have any with us but if you have those it's probably a lot easier for you to get through here but there's waterfalls underground there's waterfalls that come out between rocks underground there's plenty of adventure for you and your family to be had here. And this is actually the Lost River is what they do call it if you're looking on Google Maps. But 
come on down here, get ready to explore, and you never know what kind of things you may find. No, I'll tell you what, this is pretty cool. We've got a 20 foot waterfall inside this cave. Pretty cool crawl space and everything. Interesting. Now what I can tell you is if you look on the pictures here, you see this experience. This is all boardwalks through rocks. It's very well maintained for you guys and your families to come enjoy. You're not going to come here and find huge waterfalls. You're going to find a gorge with plenty of water, plenty of adventure, lots of cool caves, and a place for you and your family to spend a few hours. Well, I'll tell you what, at first we were like a little disappointed because the waterfalls here are not very impressive, but when you add the caves and this real cool suspension bridge, it's probably worth the $28. You could spend a couple hours here and really enjoy it, but take a look. Here is the suspension bridge. Nobody on it right now except for the bear on top. But let me tell you, it's a pretty cool place. 